Understanding Leave of Absence, a guide to an important English phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a common English phrase, leave of absence. It's a phrase you might encounter in professional or academic settings, and understanding it can be really helpful. Let's dive in. Leave of absence refers to a period of time that an individual is allowed to be away from their workplace or educational institution. It's important to understand that this is a formal, approved break from work or study. The reasons for a leave of absence can vary greatly. It could be for personal health issues, family matters, or even educational pursuits. There are several types of leave of absence, and they can differ based on the organization's policies or the country's laws. Some common types include medical leave for health-related reasons, maternity, paternity leave for taking care of a new child, sabbatical leave often for academic or research pursuits, personal leave for personal reasons which might not be specified. Understanding the type of leave can give context to the duration and nature of the absence. Requesting a leave of absence is a formal process. It usually involves 1. Understanding the policy. Knowing your organization's leave policy is crucial. 2. Formal request. Submitting a written request or filling out a form. 3. Providing documentation. Sometimes, you might need to provide evidence, like a doctor's note. 4. Awaiting approval. The leave must be approved by the relevant authority in your organization. Taking a leave of absence can have various implications. Professional impact, how it might affect your job position or career path. Financial considerations, whether the leave is paid or unpaid. Legal rights, understanding your legal rights and protections during a leave. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of what leave of absence means and how it's used. Remember, it's a formal, approved period away from work or study for specific reasons. If you ever need to request one, make sure to follow your organization's procedures. Thanks for watching, and we hope this has been helpful in your English learning journey.